Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the short key diode. This is the one of the special purpose devices. So out of uh, four or five special purpose devices, the short key diode is one of the special purpose devices. Now we'll see what is short key diode. A short key diode is a metal semiconductor junction diode that has less forward voltage drop than the PN junction diode and can be used in the high speed switching applications. So it is a metal semiconductor device. It has a less forward voltage drop when compared to the PN junction diode. That's why it is used in the high switching, high speed switching applications. If you see the symbol of the short key diode, this is a symbol of the short key diode. It is having the two terminals, anode as well as the cathode. Okay. Now, if you see the anode terminal, it is made up of metal. And if you see the cathode terminal, that is a N type. Okay, and it is called as a junction. But here, when we compare with the PN junction diode, here we are totally, we are replacing P type with the metal. We are not using the P type here. P type semiconductor, we are not using. We are using the metal only. That is only the difference between PN junction diode and the short key diode. The N type is as it is, but we are using the metal here. Instead of P type, we are using the metal and it is a junction here. Now, if we, in the normal PN junction diode, a P type semiconductor and an N type semiconductor are used to form the PN junction diode. Okay, but in case of short key diode, a metal such as aluminum or platinum replace the P type semiconductor. A short key diode is formed by a junction of semiconductor and a, and a metal. The junction is formed, it is a combination of metal as well as the N type only. That is called as a short key diode. That is the difference between PN junction diode and the short key diode. Now we'll see the forward bias of the short key diode. In the short key diode, this metal is a metal, the majority carriers are electrons here. Electrons are indicated by negative sign, and the minority carriers are holes. But in the same way, in N type. The majority carriers are electrons and the minority carriers are holes. That is only the difference when we compare with the PN junction diode. In PN junction diode, in the P type, majority carriers are holes. But here we are taking, the, as we are taking the metal, in the metal, the majority carriers are uh, these electrons indicated by the negative sign only. And the minority carriers are holes, that's why positive sign. And this middle, these ions are called as the negative ions and it is the positive ions and it is a depletion region. Depletion region width is very low in the forward bias of the short key diode. It is a positive terminal of the supply and it is a negative terminal in and it is the supply voltage is indicated by Vs. When a forward bias voltage is applied to the short key diode, a large number of free electrons are generated in the N type semiconductor and the metal. Okay, in the metal as well as the N type, the large number of free electrons are generated. However, a free electrons in N type semiconductor and the metal cannot cross the junction unless the applied voltage is greater than 0 0.2 volts. Unless we give the 0 0.2 volts at the supply voltage, this uh, charge carriers will not cross the junction. <laughs> Here, we are giving positive terminal to the metal and the negative terminal to the N type, to the metal and the negative terminal to the N type, then this short key diode will be in the forward bias mode. And this short key diode will be in the on state when the supply voltage increases up to 0 0.2 volts. 0 0.2 volts increases up to 0 0.2 volts then only it will be in the on state condition up to this up to 0 0.2 volts unless we give the 0 0.2 volts greater than 0 0.2 volts it will be not in the on state condition so that is about the uh, short key diode forward bias mode but while in case of the pn junction diode we have to give up to 0 0.7 volts in case of the silicon diode and the 0 0.3 volts in case of the germanium diode so that's why the forward voltage drop of the short key diode is very less. That is 0 0.2 volts only. If the applied voltage is greater than 0 0.2 volts, the free electrons gain enough energy and overcome the built-in voltage of the depletion region. As a result, elect 
electric current starts flowing through the short key diode if the applied voltage is continuously increases the depletion region becomes very thin and finally disappears so if we increase the uh, forward bias voltage so this depletion region width will become very thin and finally it will be disappear hence the current flows between this uh, metal and the anti in the short key diode <coughs> If you see the reverse bias of the short key diode, in the reverse bias, we will reverse the terminals here. The negative terminal, we will give it to the metal and the positive terminal, we will give it to the N type. Then the, uh, this short key diode will be in the reverse bias condition. When a reverse bias voltage applied to the short key diode, the depletion region width is increases. So your wide depletion region, we are having the very wide depletion region. As a result, the electric current stops flowing. However, a small leakage current flows here. As it is reverse bias, there is no current flows, but because there is a small leakage current flows. If the reverse bias voltage is continuously increases, the electric current gradually increases due to the weak barrier. If the reverse bias voltage is largely increased, largely increased, a sudden rise in the electric current takes place. This sudden rise in electric current causes a depletion region to break down, which may permanently damage the device. So in the reverse bias condition, we have to apply up to the breakdown voltage only. If we apply the reverse voltage beyond the breakdown voltage, the device will damage. Okay, if you see the characteristics here, so at 0 0.2 volts, it starts conducting. If we give the forward voltage at 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, it starts conduct from this position. This biasing is called as a forward bias voltage. In the reverse bias voltage, there is there is no current flows here, very small leakage current flows. This is called as a leakage current. But uh, if you increase the voltage beyond this point, the short key diode reverse current increases drastically and the short key diode will damage. That's why we have to apply the voltage up to this point only. In the VA characteristics of the short key diode is almost similar to the PN junction diode only. It looks like similar, uh, similar to the PN junction diode only. However, the voltage drop of the short key diode is very low as compared to the PN junction diode. Here the voltage drop is very low, 0 0.2 only. While in case of the PN junction diode, it is 0 0.7 volts for the silicon diode. The voltage, the forward voltage drop of the short key diode is 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volts, whereas the forward voltage drop of the silicon diode is, uh, sorry, in the drop of the silicon PN junction diode is 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 volts. If the forward voltage drop is greater than 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volts, the electric current starts flowing through the short key diode. So here it starts from the 0 0.2 volts. In between 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volts, it flows. This is about the short key diode. In the, if you see the applications of the short key diode, in the radio frequency mixer and the detector diodes applications, we will use the short key diode. In the power rectifier, uh, rectifier applications also, we use the short key diode. And the power or circuit applications, we use this uh, short key diode and the solar cell applications and the clamp diode applications. And these are the applications of the short key diode. So this is about the one of the special purpose devices that is the short key diode. Uh, in the next class, we will discuss about the one more uh, special purpose devices that is light emitting diode. Thank you.